right shall we start all good thank you hi everyone good afternoon and welcome for today's session uh, there was like a previous session that i was taking and there were some technical glitches because of which we were not able to start it in time so uh, really sorry for that now as we are going to start uh, this given sub segment associated with uh, the essay, uh, sorry, because essay was the previous session. So, as we are going to start with the sociology optional workshop, first and foremost, I'll give you uh, like basic insight associated with what is the potential of this optional. Because many of you, after speculating, because this is like August 10, we are starting the batch on 1st of September. So, this is like the time when a student has been like fairly exposed to how to go ahead with the preparation. So, I will encourage your questions like pouring in. In between, I'll be just substantiating what all we are going to create. So, uh, this given subsegment of like uh, sociology optional is going to support you massively in your GS preparation as well. Unlike many other optionals which have a limitation to support the GS component. Popularly, it is perceived that this area is going to support the component of Indian society and social justice. That's a superfluous understanding of this area. Anyone who is thorough with the sociology optional syllabus will realize that from the very first chapter, the moment you see the topic that is associated with uh, we can consider uh, the emergence of sociology as a discipline. You get exposed to European history like industrial revolution, French revolution, period of enlightenment. Simultaneously, there are topics related to polity that get prepared because we have political system in the syllabus. So, you tend to prepare the topics of polity like pressure group, like NGOs, like what is the idea of nation, nation state. So, so many sub, sub segments related to the theoretical understanding of polity is also supported from sociology. You can see that topic related to GS paper 3 economy related to rural agrarian social structure and transformation is also supported from this given area of sociology because the sociology syllabus incorporates the topics related to rural agrarian social structure whereby the class legal like we can say land reforms all the various types of interventions which are carried forward in the present time all of it is consolidated together. You can also find that this uh, given area related uh, to this paper can also support a brief understanding of GS paper for ethics, integrity, aptitude as well. Because ethics emerge from social contexts. We can see values emerge from the societal understanding that what is universally important, correct and necessitated for a society. So, we can see that you have a topic like inculcation of values by fa family, educational institutions and society. And in general, you can see a lot of understanding is also supported and consolidated accordingly. Again, when we are speaking of this given uh, sub-dimension, we can see that uh, this uh, component is going to support you associated with the understanding of essay. Yes, essay. Every once in a while, you'll see that in the optional class, when you are studying with me, a lot of examples are given, a lot of insights are given, which and, and examples as well, anecdotes as well, that we all will be able to connect with uh, like uh, the sub, sub segments that would be supporting the content accordingly, right? So, when we are discussing about this, okay, so, um, at the, okay, now Vishal, the question is like, uh, are you interested to attend the session, this workshop? Because I can see the nature of questions that you are raising is uh, probably not that of a civil servant. The very motivation to be present in this class is hyphenating the given dimension that you are interested to like be a part of this course, right? So, how about the given possibility that you start exercising the behavior of a balanced civil servant who is a friend, philosopher and guide? for the society, right? So, the kind of engagements you are holding, let it now become more seasoned, more like associated with a civil servant, right? And uh, I apologize on his behalf to other students who are tormented unnecessarily, which is not needed. And I think that polishing can be taken care of in the class, right? 
So, with respect to this, we all can uh, like uh, reflect upon certain other uh, segments related to we can say the component of uh, sociology optional. So, here as we are like heading towards the given sub segments pertaining to it, we can connect it with we can say we can connect it with just a second why is the board not working yeah so we can connect it with the kind of like results that we all can find so here i have just provided a brief insight associated with the kind of results sociology has presented sociology the 2019 result it is actually like uh, uh, we can say it is presented by department of personal and training it was uploaded by department of personal and training so rather than i would say that uh, uh, sharing the given insight associated with this given uh, topic, we all can get into like uh, the possibility of what it is creating consistently, okay, consistently. So, when we are getting into the given sub-segment, we all can, just a second, there is some technical glitch at one end, probably I can just share the given possibility, yeah. So, when we are speaking of this, we all can probably like look into the dimension related to uh, what sociology has created over the years. So, in 2019, we all can see that Department of Personal and Training has released this result that sociology, when we are talking about it, has presented like the students who appeared with sociology optional was 1263 and we can see that 126 students got selected that is 10 percent result was coming from sociology please do understand when we are talking about this percentage this is consistency in performance see unlike uh, like certain optionals which can create turbulence like something like too high and then something going too low on an average you can find that uh, the component of sociology gives like a competency in selection when we are talking about it. So, we all can see that uh, like you know sociology is something which creates a sense of balance in terms of marks whereby a student can very easily score anything between I would say 280 on a high side to we can say 300 and 25 okay 327 has been highest so far but on an average getting 315 as the all india topper or 320 as all india topper is possible this year the topper was having 315 last year the topper had 304 and he was my student uh, had taught him few years uh, back so when we are talking about this given optional associated with sociology we all can reflect upon uh, what kind of intervention it can cause for all of us so i hope all the students can you can you find this session live and uh, like i can see your chat so there are if there are any queries any kind of like we can say questions that you have feel free to like share it i will keep consolidating that while explaining the given concepts so this trend i can show you in 2017 16 15 14 accordingly you can see the percentage of selection on a high side it has been 11.7 on a low side it has been 8 and on an average it has been 10 2019 also i showed you uh, after 17 just the previous sheet you can see that that has been associated with 2000 and like uh, 19 and we all could see that it was associated with just a second it was associated with the component of 10% selection coming from sociology, right? So, 10% is what we can consider when it comes to consistency in delivering the results associated with sociology, right? When we are discussing about the same, okay, we all can connect it with the results. When I said it can be 300 plus, you can see this is the mark sheet of Anu, anu Gumari. And when we reflect upon her sociology marks, you can see 163 plus 155. You sum total it 300 plus. This is what I was suggesting to all of you. Another candidate that is Pradeep Singh in first attempt, he was just 22 years old. First attempt, he cracked the exam. Okay, All India under 100 rank and that was associated with, you can see the sociology marks that is 171 plus 136. So, you can see that this student has also scored something around 307 marks. right? So, sociology you can see is a consistent performer. When we reflect upon the syllabus, this is the syllabus which all of you can like reflect upon. 
some very interesting topics the moment i say sociology so it is societas plus logos societas is associated with society and logos is associated with scientific scientific study or systematic study so scientific study or systematic study when we talk about it from that given perspective we all can reflect upon the given topics or the given chapters which are given over here you can see this sociology the discipline this is what is written sociology the discipline like how the dis discipline is emerging and coming into action then we can see sociology is science so whether sociology should be treated as a scientific subject should it be treated like a natural science or if it is a social science then how and why and when you try to justify it that yes sociology is not based on common sense it is something which is a scientific enquiry to study the society and provide solutions related to the social problems that emanate we can reflect it from the perspective of hope we can uh, like connect it with the possibility of breakthroughs so when we are discussing about hope when we are discussing about the breakthroughs we can connect it with like research methods and analysis research methods and analysis right so the research methods and analysis is also a sub topic of this given dimension so far see there was a batch that i started in july and uh, i was taking three sessions per day so uh, and then again in august i started with four sessions per day so we like a, a sizable chunk has been completed over there whereby i imply to say almost three chapters have been completed we started with uh, like sociological thinkers so as like the new batch starts i will be like dealing with the sociological thinkers and all the rest of the topics you will be seeing the component related to we can say work and economic life politics and society religion and society family marriage kinship social changes in india introducing indian society tribal communities in india rural agrarian social structure transformation industrialization population social movements challenges of social transformation all of it shall be dealt systematically after completing this given sub segment i will be again like you know all the students who join in the new batch they will be getting associated with the two topics that they have missed out uh, so research methods and analysis is yet to be taught okay but sociology is a science for begin, giving a basic uh, we can say like i would say engagement that was provided so this will be taken later along with one more topic that is stratification and mobility these two topics i will be taking up okay towards the end for the new batch other than that rest everything is going to be fresh for them you shall be supported with a lot of segments you will find that in the class as i go ahead with explaining the topics um my students who have been like uh, my old students whether in gs or in sa they know this uh, teaching pedagogy that i have like uh, like uh, incorporated over the years and that is associated with not getting into uh, like providing a lot of dictation i find dictation is mechanical beyond a point boring and non creative anything that can be dictated can be supported also with material so what method i follow or prescribe is i provide handouts to the students for every topic that i teach the dictation that can be provided is converted into a soft copy and that is provided to the students so that before the lecture starts before the chapter starts you can read it and get an overview in the lecture i explain the concepts draw flow charts discuss the entire concept and after the completion of the chapter we indulge in the previous year questions how to deal with them how to provide answers associated with them what all dimensions need to be put forth okay so that is something that i try to create for the students other than that once like you know a sizable number of chapters are completed then i also provide handouts sorry booklets so booklets are different from handout handout is a simplified version more like i can i can say that a gist of uh like uh, ignu along with mixed with uh, like uh, certain other simpler sources like for chapter 1 you can think of tb bottomore or you can think of certain insights coming from bridza and certain diagrams certain perspectives that can also be consolidated related to it so when we are like let us say building upon the concept when we are building upon the insights you will be realizing that uh, i also support after the handout is like uh, given then i also support with a booklet what is the booklet comprising of 
uh, I would say that's a complete inspiration which I have taken from my professors from the past. So my university professors, I have observed this dimension with respect to them that while teaching us, we all can see this given dimension that uh, my uh, professors, they used to indulge in this practice that they used to provide uh, like, you know, handout. And with respect to those handouts, what we used to do is like uh, we used to read that and th those handouts used to be taken from specific chapters of um, different noted thinkers. So we could not purchase those books. So if ma'am used to have that book, she used to like get the photo state done and provide it to the class representative and then we used to get our copies done. Anyway, you don't have to undergo all that rigor because we will be consolidated in that in the form of a booklet. So booklet is nothing but we can say consolidation of relevant articles from different books which a civil services aspirant should read to develop a basic academic understanding of sociology because in the end of the day it is the academician who is evaluating your copy it is senior central university professors who are evaluating your copy so it is very very essential for a student to come up with i would say a meaningful engagement and understanding of the given topic right so and how can that happen so a basic understanding created in the class with simpler examples flow charts conceptual clarity of each and every technical term every jargon then engaging with the previous year question paper so building the co concept through and through in totality also there's one more thing which i do uh, some senior central university professors if they have also explained the same topic in their own words i share the link in our telegram group Yes, we have a telegram group, which is uh, like a two-way channel to interact. Not only I, but students also have the intellectual freedom to push the content, to share the content accordingly. Okay, And any content which they feel is relevant to the topic. So it is an intellectual space, an academic space for all to interact and share. So everyone can share their insights, their perspectives, their we can say uh, we can say the theoretical clarities that they need. Okay, or even like there are doubts, so students can personally reach out to me. Suppose I'm taking a GS class. Students send images and then they send the question that what problem they are suffering from, and then through an audio message or by typing the answer, I regularly post the answer. Generally, I give the answer within 24 hours. If, God forbid, there is some uh, reason because of a lot of messages, if it gets suppressed, I request the students that if someone's message is not responded within 24 hours, kindly repost it. Because sometimes there can be engagements because of which certain questions, like not certain two or three on a high side max, can be missed out. Okay, But on an average, each and every student with respect to personal handholding in sociology is taken care of. Once almost two to three subtopics are cleared or chapters are covered, I see to it that a regular test is conducted. So the test is evaluated, it is shared. So students from other regional centers, other parts of India, uh, like they receive the material in soft copy, they like with respect to whatever they have to send in a test. So they scan it, they send it, we also evaluate it and send it. Uh, other than that, if someone is into regular answer writing, the child directly sends that answer to me. No in-between filters, no in-between channel. I personally look into the answer or the way the child is preparing notes and give a feedback. Whether the way the notes has been prepared is up to mark or not. Okay, So it's like no in-between mentorship. Okay, Only in test evaluation, I seek help when we are talking about this given dimension. So, with respect to this given dimension, when we are, uh, how to prepare for current affairs in paper 2. Yes, with respect to current affairs in uh, paper 2, Muhammad, as you are asking this, uh, what I can suggest re regarding this given uh, dimension is that you need to bring in the insights from sociological perspective. People think that it is like uh, whatever is happening around us just needs to be written like it has to be written in GS. No, not really. Like let us say, hashtag me too movement. If it is asked in sociology, you don't have to write only about what is me too movement all about. Maybe certain critical reflections made by thinkers or theorists across the world, not necessarily sociologists. They can be political th scientists. They can be think tanks who are recognized in other walks of life. So what have they said? Any meaningful critical reflection that they have said, you have to just give 
two three such references as well because if it is a 10 marker question 150 word question your answer becomes sociological only when you are able to prove what you are saying is not common sense what you are saying is scientific and how can you prove that what you are saying is not common sense it is scientific when you are able to prove or validate the same right by because you are not a researcher so you cannot do the research so by the we can say critical reflections the intellectual reflections of those who have done the research so you have to reflect who has done the research and then you realize that yes there are a lot of think tanks who have done the research or who have uh, like you know who have a theoretical understanding of the thing when they say it and when you quote them you are backing your perception your understanding with the insight of an intellectual who has done research hence your reflection becomes sociological so either a survey if not a survey then any research body a research group or it can be a researcher from any university or a think tank any of them or any newspaper which is publishing because when a newspaper is publishing it takes responsibility of the authenticity of the content okay so from any of the sources when you are quoting the source and then talking about a fact the answer becomes sociological unlike the common perception that oh current affairs is also asked in sociology paper too okay it's not current affairs per se the same issue when taught in gs i just cut down all the thinkers i just discuss what is the concept how is the concept why is the concept but the same concept when taught in sociology the backing of thinkers research bodies groups is also given because in the absence of it we cannot validate it whether it is authentic or not true or not who is proving it and on what basis because that is what is making sociology scientific a discipline and scientific not as a natural science as a social science because when you understand something scientifically that what is happening how is it happening then only you can provide meaningful solutions to the problem that how things can be better and what kind of intervention or articulation can be done well so tilak when i was discussing about the optional syllabus you could you could see the syllabus paper 1 paper 2 in a simplified manner it has been consolidated as one even when the workshop is over if anyone is experiencing because i can see uh, vani uh, you were sharing that there is some technical glitch that you were experiencing right so any student who who was or is experiencing any kind of technical slow down delay glitch from your end what you are supposed to do is revisit the lecture and then you will get because once it is in a recorded mode you can just listen to it in one go and there will be no issues if if you are having this uh, given problem from your end related to some poor connectivity that can be revisited that applies to even the sessions once the session is conducted once i complete a session i provide the online access to the session once again to the student on the portal so the child can revisit the session as many times as possible okay generally you won't need like visiting a session more than two times and uh, anyway no one is having so much of luxury of time so and if you get stuck in any issue you can revisit the session after revisiting if you are stuck again you can ask me then i'm answerable again other than that uh, with respect to it when we are talking about uh, today there's a problem in the server this is what i can see once in a while okay so when we are talking about this given dimension we can also reflect upon few other sub segments we can consider that uh, um so as one of you tilak you are asking that you have not decided your optional so with respect to the optional this is the syllabus you can see the strategy first my strategy then the strategy that a student should have i'll discuss that as well so my strategy will be first to empower you with basic concepts then with after that like uh, the handout is also there to support you so that no dictation is there you understand it then you can also find the booklet okay so the booklet will be from all relevant academic sources so that you don't have to buy a list of books all the list of books you have to study the gist is prepared and shared in the form of a uh, like booklet you read there so it's suppose if someone has to purchase ridzer don't buy ridzer ridzer with respect to thinkers or chapter 1 if there has to be something it is in the booklet simple but if still someone is like oh i wish i could see ridzer soft copy of the book is posted in the telegram channel 
okay same as with harlembus and holborn it is an essential book for paper 1 especially politics and society social change uh, social stratification so if someone has to read harlembus and holborn soft copy is in the book like in the group and uh, with respect to the insights of harlembus and Ho holborn in a gist manner the important areas underlined and then typed that is provided in the form of booklet okay so telegram channel okay you also have another group it, which is for like technical and administrative support so in that group any technical support or administrative support that you need related to lectures lecture planning access to a session you are getting stuck in something you can reach out personally or you can post it there also so the support is created from that group so two groups you have an access one is for the purpose of academic insight and only academic discussion second for technical or management related support that you need and you want me to be involved or me to support accordingly i'll help you reach out to the relevant people or also follow up the issue personally if your issue is resolved or not um again with respect to this given optional other than like it being scoring or associated with the gs preparation there is something more interesting associated with it and that is nourishing you to become a great human being yes the purpose of all this education the purpose of all this learning is first and foremost to make you matured and seasoned as a citizen of this world as a citizen of this country and this society whereby you know how to be how to exist and how to behave and in the process when you are like nourishing your roots when you are nourishing your insights you start i can ensure this and promise this that once the syllabus gets over once like you know uh, the possibility of teaching you paper 1 2 and all other relevant segments is over after the course is completed you will be a different person you will be a person who is well read you will be a person who is relatively more matured is able to understand the unfolding of what's happening in the society more thoroughly and moreover you will be able to have a problem solving attitude with compassion with integrity with a sense of accountability with a sense of i would say the spirit of brotherhood and something which is core to we can say the civil services values okay so um, you get more i would say polished as a person through and through and all the rough edges that you possess in terms of how to observe society how, how to observe the social phenomena how to observe the interventions like concepts like uh, reservation should it be there or not in gs classes on a thorough basis it cannot be dealt but you will realize one full lecture devoted to the issue of reservation in gs you will realize that issues of tribals generally it is wrapped up within an uh, like one or two hours here you will find two to three sessions devoted for the issue of tribals so you will realize that you start understanding your people you will start understanding your culture you will start understanding that how the political phenomena is unfolding how various types of decision is impacting the different types of people and what kind of approach you need to have to observe what is happening in and around you in the given society all right so that's something which probably i can suggest when you are talking about uh, like how to go ahead with it and tilak when it comes to like uh, uh, deciding the optional choose the one which is closest to your heart because see we teachers we love our subjects so we try to create as many segments sparks and magic as possible but once the session is over it is the student who has to prepare the notes it is the student who has to like appear for the test it is the student who has to regularly revise and once the course is over so after the session session is every day so and yes it is 5 days in a week monday to friday okay and the timing will be 1 to 3 30 pm and once the i would say the session is over and then the course is over then a student has to study and prepare it right no one else is going to run the race for you the like you know in the close quarters of your house or your room you will be just like studying and being thorough and diligent and updating and maybe like you know uh, reflecting and then adding few points all that has to be done by you i am there to like hold your hand and tell you oh, this can be included this cannot be included this is relevant this is not relevant i can do as far as i can but studying and memorizing 
understanding is your game so choose that subject which you want to read which you want to learn which you want to know and you feel that it is going to meaningfully impact your existence you would love to read it even when the teacher has completed the chapter or has taught the subject okay you feel like reading you are curious to learn more you are curious to know better okay you are ready to invest your energy to memorize if and where necessary right and it applies to all subjects every subject is beautiful in itself it is nourishing the civilization and human kind in all ways all subjects are beautiful all subjects are uh, wonderful irrespective of whether a mentor is available or not irrespective of whether uh, like you know uh, it is popular or not many people say ma'am english literature i'm like yeah it's a good subject yes you don't have a mentor but nonetheless it's a good subject every subject is good what actually is needed now the difference is when you have a mentor something which you learn in a pace of 2 years or 3 years a mentor can speed up your race can just like you know give you the right push can like you know fix your engine in the right direction and as you are running can also refuel you refuel your battery with the right kind of motivation the right kind of energy and the right kind of material so distractions can be culled down that's what i can suggest okay so uh, what time the syllabus would be completed well sayed on an average it takes me almost 90 sessions to complete suppose if the batch is smart and fast then in that situation the syllabus can be completed as it happened in one of the batches which i had taken during covid it got over by 84 sessions and in one of the batches it took 93 sessions so 90 is the tentative number of sessions that i generally take rest is up to the batch like just previously if i'm speaking of it um, when i was discussing with the present batch which is functional right now so in that batch i was teaching the chapter of like social stratification and caste system so rather than taking four sessions i saw that one more session is needed i took that extra session because in the end of the day the purpose of teaching is that a student should gain comfort and confidence in the topic there is no rush rush that i have to finish the syllabus in so and so the date and so and so days but you can consider that if like in future that is starting from september onwards if i'm taking five lectures in a week that's my target so going by that there will be like 20 sessions in a month and again if we reflect upon the same with respect to like uh, three months so in three months 60 sessions and accordingly you can understand the 30 sessions which have 20 sessions to be specific 22 23 sessions which the previous batch has completed uh, those sessions will like get added towards the end and that is how like tentatively like about 90 sessions would get completed so maybe the previous batch will be completing the sessions by first week of december and your batch would be comp completing it somewhere around january maximum by january i personally would not appreciate any student to drag optional beyond january because february is the time to revise and keep the optional and march onwards you should be exclusive to gs preparation because only when you clear the prelims you will get an opportunity to write the mains and use all the wisdom you have gained in the optional subject so i personally do not do not encourage the stretching of an optional subject beyond january january till january january it is healthy but beyond january it is not healthy february is about revision so you can always cut down the duration you can revise for 2 to 1 and a half hours and that's fine to bring you back to the rhythm the moment you appear for prelims for one month you are supposed to just run through the material in a systematized manner with a timetable and go ahead with it yes i have created a tentative timetable for mains exam how a student should follow the timetable and i have shared it in the group as well and i have encouraged the students this is the highest level you have to run so you can just cut down the number of hours here and there tweak it according to your timing pace when you have to get up when you have to sleep and accordingly work towards the preparation of this exam whereby how to play sociology optional along with gs classes and revision and the test that has been created so any student who is disciplined and running with that given possibility can make it big that's what i can say okay uh, if you're self preparing whoever is having the name just chillax from nitin sangwan is it enough no 
Nitin Sangwan is a base book, an elementary book to introduce you to the world of sociology. It is more like I would say a gist of IGNU and few other current sources clubbed together. That's what Nitin Sangwan is. After reading and, and those who are into self preparation, um, if you are suppose you are reading Nitin Sangwan, complete like let us say uh, social stratification or complete thinkers from Sangwan and then see the 10 or 15 years previous year question paper. So, while going through the PYQs, you will realize there are a lot of segments which are not dealt properly by Sangwan. One second thing the like I would say one of the essential aspects of preparation of a topic is discussing and understanding the previous year question. If you are unable to interpret the previous year question just, just by seeing a word you cannot say it is associated with this chapter like yesterday only we were discussing about we were about to start with Weber. So, I showed the previous year question and I so showed that a colossal mistake in the way the previous year questions have been arranged and aligned by one of the publishing houses. So, they had kept affirmative action the topic affirmative action under Weber. I saw I was like oh my god I was like affirmative action is can be associated with we can say the interventional justice or the proportional justice that we try to create for vulnerable sections in across the world not just in India but across the world like for example reservation reservation is an affirmative action so it's like just by seeing the word action we cannot say it is associated with social action Okay, it will be like confusing if you are uh, like uh, associating in this manner. That's not the right way to associate with the chapter. So, this kind of wisdom, oh, this is not related to this, but this chapter, this kind of wisdom, this hand holding sometimes becomes essential. And that's why, that's what I said that self preparation is also possible. If you are very thorough, very meticulous, uh, very definite, you are following central university professors because now you can find a lot of good sources. I mean it. You can find a lot of good sources of university professors even at YouTube. There is like CEC, okay, there is Ministry of HRD having a list of lectures which are really qualitatively good and any student into self-preparation should follow them, okay. But they are recorded lectures related to the concept some extra hand holding related to PYQs or like with respect to we can say how to prepare notes with respect to how to reproduce what more potential areas are there what more potential type of questions can be created that extra support you will have to seek from anyone who is senior to you and whichever source you apply it can be a senior it can be a professor teaching at the university okay if you are not like uh, capable of or if you are not like let's say empowered right now to join the session though you are curious and you want to learn so that's what i can suggest okay uh, so i hope sayad your issue is also covered up and after that uh, paper one and paper two have some same topics how the distinguish paper one is international in approach paper two is indian in approach that's the primary difference uh, muhammad sadia okay so that's the basic difference when we speak of it uh, in uh, paper 1 and paper 2 okay so that's what you can reflect upon when we are talking about the difference could you please provide the telegram channel uh, i'm so sorry Auli, as you are asking about it it is it is provided uh, definitely it, there are two types of telegram channel that i hold if you search with my name one is the public channel I'm relatively not so active. I should have been more active, but I'm like earlier I used to be regularly posting, but these days, like you know, a bit of hectic work is going on and I'm working at multiple levels. So I'm not so active right now for past, I would say, almost two, three months on that channel. Uh, but yes, I mean, I keep posting once in a while, like one article or two articles uh, once in a while. I keep doing that. But uh, uh, daily basis posting, you won't find that. And the second one, the group, the, the telegram group, which is a closed group, it, I'm, I'm really sorry and I apologize for that. But uh, it is only for the students who are, who have taken admission and who the management has approved. So uh, there is a limitation to that. But yes, I mean, uh, I do become regular and I keep posting almost daily in that group because there is some or the other issue that's brewing and that can be posted over there. All right. So um, now with respect to this, when we are taking up, so are there any other questions? Research and data analysis are key components of sociology. How can we ensure the integrity and objectivity of uh, sociological 
uh, research in an era which is spread uh, with respect. Okay, yes. So that is the concern, uh, like uh, what you're asking, associated with the post-truth world or post-modernity. The thinkers of post-modernity actually think like you, and I can sense that you have. Uh, like a basic understanding of sociology and that's why you understand the importance of research and methods because yes data manipulation factual manipulation and thinkers of post-modernity they say that in today's time even a counter perspective that is getting presented has a backing of facts some or the other facts can be presented so what to believe and what not to believe is like uh, under debate and that is why they have a nihilist tendency they keep negating the very possibility of qualitative and independent research uh, well we cannot deny the fact that information manipulation has become quite rampant uh, in the present times still like grassroots level data collection independent research conducted by researchers across the world uh, like at ground level and then after collecting the data, then processing it, theorizing it and presenting it to the world through various journals is continual. Like just few days back, we were discussing about Whitehead. Whitehead, a thinker who is not a core part of sociology syllabus. You will not find uh, the thinker Whitehead either in paper 1 and definitely not in paper 2. And a question related to Whitehead and caste system was asked. Now, caste system, if you see all those who are aware of the syllabus or will become aware of the syllabus, you will see that caste system is discussed like in the syllabus it's mentioned. It is discussed from the perspective of G.S. Ghurie, M.N. Srinivas, Andre Bete, if I talk about popular thinkers. Then there is Louis Dumont. Okay, uh, we can also incorporate uh, certain other thinkers like who have done village studies. Their insights is also incorporated. But Whitehead, one could never expect. But UPSC has a tendency to surprise us with questions. 5% questions can be as such which corners you. And it is for all GS papers. It is for all optional papers. That's a clear instruction given to the academician. That give 5% questions which corners the student and makes the student feel, oh, I don't know anything about it. From where has this question come? Like with re respect to Marx, there was a question, fetishism of commodities. And students were like, uh, from where has this question come? Or there was a question related to uh, like serendipity of Merton. And students were like, uh, from where has this question come? So once in a while, there can be questions associated with those areas. But that should not bowl you down. That should not pull you down. You have to be prepared with a given insight of a topic whereby you are able to build it accordingly. Anyway. When I'm discussing about this given area, or why I gave you the concept of Whitehead, because Whitehead, Judith Whitehead, as her name is. So, Judith Whitehead has contributed in past few years related to insights pertaining to caste system, class. She has made critical reflections from the British era as well as the present times. Okay, And she was published heavily in Economic and Political Weekly. And that is how the central university professor who must be reading her articles regularly just thought to test whether a civil services aspirant is also updated about some recent sociologists or not. And that question was quest asked. So, if we say that research methods uh, like, you know, cannot be accepted or uh, like independent research is not possible in the era of uh, information collection whereby it is getting manipulated, then why would we entertain new thinkers, their research work, recognizing it even officially by raising questions around them? How would that be possible, right? So, despite this Undoubtedly, there is this challenge of manipulated information or incorrect information. That's why it is encouraged in sociology that you go to the origin of the data, the original source, then collect it and then present your research. And that research, that it is authenticated. Other people also like, you know, provide their critical analysis to the research. And that's how sociology establishes itself even today in present times as science. And that is how you will be realizing this possibility that bit by bit, but it is taking in leaps and bounds, the, uh, the subject is developing in the world of academics, holding greater relevance by combining its insights and perspectives with new realms, new subjects, new disciplines and areas of inquiry. I mean, this is not the present, but the future of sociology will be inquiring about 
people with artificial intelligence and like you know the correlation the dynamics the challenges how it is going to impact other social structures organizations and institutions this is not there presently in the syllabus but this is the future of the syllabus that has to be there because if you are inquiring about the society and its people you have to make an inquiry about the potential changes and massive convolutions or transformations which they may undergo all right again any student who gets overwhelmed by like let us say any program of answer writing well uh, mishti i can run it i'll be very honest because if i'm holding like uh, test series regularly answer writing program could have been incorporated but you know uh, for running a good a profound and a sound answer writing program i personally feel that the concepts should be clear and if the child has not been taught by me and the concepts are not very clear and suppose i have and i don't want to do a flimsy exercise that uh, i have given a test and then uh, like uh, to an answer writing program student and provided the model answer and i'm asking the child okay refer and just do ahead with it i personally feel because once i did it and i was in my own moral conscience i was not very satisfied i felt that the child needs to listen to a proper lecture related to the concept Uh, by explaining what was the demand of the question and what should have been the answer when there is a course running i'm able to do that but suppose if an answer writing program is running and i'm just explaining the answer and what should have been written only that is not sufficient because when we explain an answer we also understand that the contours of the concept the correlated aspects of the concept are also not properly understood by the student that's why the student could not arrive at that answer that means there are some basic elementary insights of the concept which is also missing and um, then you have the tendency to support and then you are like maybe just by doing an answer writing program that will not be sufficient so finding the in between path is necessary i understand but meanwhile we have not created it this is the limitation which i am sharing mishti and that's why the course because in the course not only the answer writing program is incorporated but the contours of the concept which are correlated and may not be understood by a student who is like has has got into self preparation and simply answer writing but i'll definitely ensure this that if i start any such program in october or november it shall be posted to you through relevant sources including my tele official telegram channel which is public and open so you'll get to know about it but i do understand that if something like that has to be created it has to be more responsible than mere answer evaluation and key some extra effort is required um uh, otherwise it is just like any answer evaluation program it won't be sound enough should we have to follow functional perspective in our everyday answers no sadia because functionalist perspective is a conformist perspective always looking into things from the perspective of i would say order harmony and uh, justifying why a specific we can say phenomena is existing in the society whereas the real life is based on both what is happening how it is justified how it is maintaining order symmetry and harmony and at the same time how there are seeds of contradiction seeds of change and how those seeds of change when they fructify quantitatively it leads to qualitative change in the society you need a balance of both functionalist as well as conflict perspective blended together along with an interpretative understanding which weber supports when you have that kind of understanding it is then that you as a researcher as uh, an aspirant who is aspiring to understand society develops a balanced outlook to interpret what's happening how is it happening and how it ought to happen all right so that's what i can support you with yes what else uh attempt is in 2026 so when should i start with sociology well anchal with respect to this um you can start it next year this is what i can say this year finish your basics complete your basic books like you can complete ncert okay you can other than completing the ncert books you can also you see i don't want to push you into the admission take it this year and this okay if you have already like started the preparation then you can think of taking the optional coaching this year and next year you are taking like answer writing program and then when you mature with answer writing then a test series program 
ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट ईयर दैट इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव टू द सिक्स वर्जन वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट एट दैट टाइम क्वालिटी एनहांसमेंट दैट्स वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन okay that can be a systematic approach but if you are doing your graduation like let us say if you are a graduation first year or second year student focus on your graduation just uh, complete the relevant sub segments uh, like by like uh, let us say following the material related to we can consider the ncert books once you have completed the ncert books you can also start reading ignu bit by bit ignu needs a lot of time and it is a very slow process because it is written by central university professors to students who will not have a direct access to a professor regular classes and seeing the so the language is written as if a professor is speaking in great detail with great explanation and a lot of examples to a student so a written printed material the professor is talking to you so it's very detailed very spread out upsc i mean what you are reading in ignu like in 10 pages upsc we will ask you to write it within 150 words or 300 words that's it so 10 pages just that's what so that is the art that is taught in the class but when you have a lot of time you can start with a slow paced manner but have a time table within this number of months or weeks i'll complete this number of topics that is how before joining the institute Uh, you will be able to think of like uh, the possibility of having a wholesome understanding to the concept all right so uh, again one more thing as all of you are understanding this uh, session so uh, considering because i have had students in the past even in present batch few students from madhya pradesh from odisha who sometimes struggle with english their capability to understand the language becomes tedious and i don't mince my words or compromise with my uh, vocabulary or expression so what i do is after explaining the concept like in uh, totality or sometimes thoroughly after every 10 or 12 sentences i try to present the gist one or two sentences in hindi okay it's not a bilingual lecture mind it because i personally do not prefer bilingual sessions when i speak english it should be like full sentence in english when i speak in hindi i see to it the entire sentence is spoken in hindi because if you speak english it corrodes and corrupts the perception a child starts thinking in a mixed language and in the exam half the energy is wasted in translation of the content i don't want your energy to be wasted in translation i want your energy to be utilized in thinking and understanding the question recalling the concept and writing it powerfully so for those students who because of probably their schooling academic background because you are not responsible for it but somehow the background can create that lacuna that like break uh, or that shortcoming so for that those students what i do uh, like which i'm i've started doing it from the present batch that is i speak 10 sentences almost in english one or two sentences in hindi explaining the same in hindi so that a student who is not able to perceive or catch up is understanding that in totality and that also creates a mental break a mental break because the switch of language surprises or startles a student who is attending the session online or offline and you when you listen to it again so if you don't understand the language belonging to some part of india where you are not very fluent in speaking or understanding hindi no problem you are not missing out anything but if you are from any part of india where you understand hindi which is like almost i would say 70% of the students so you will be like uh, engaging with the concept once again in hindi but briefly just two sentences out of 10 on a high side that's what you will see so that's also there how many months for completing sociology 90 90 sessions i told you little less little more we are open and flexible to that all right so uh, any other questions people any other questions please feel free to raise today we experienced some technical glitch and because of which the session like uh, started a little late and i was like concerned but i'm glad that all of you survived the like the ch challenge the pain and you were present and it was very enervating to see that all of you were there so okay okay all right no problem uh, like uh, mishti you can just reach out to me you do the exercise personally you reach out to me and then i'll explain you how to go about with it all right mishti that will be great so um yes people any other question all good all good so with respect to this given course if you have any like enquiry you can reach out to the management 
I think I have spoken all the important segments from how to prepare, what sources I would be using, my pedagogy, number of sessions, how this is helpful for your selection. Um, and uh, towards the end, I had created some slides. These were certain questions which I had create, like created, interesting questions which are asked from sociology, which generates a lot of interest. Okay. So what I'll do is on my official Telegram channel, I'll post uh, like uh, this. So you can just have a look at the session, pause the session, have a look at the session. If you like uh, really enjoy the questions and you're curious to learn about the answer, okay, like in the light of judicial intervention on living relationships, discuss the future of marriage and family in India. You can see such interesting questions are there or are traditional social institutions getting weakened as agents of social change in contemporary society can be asked in GS is asked here in sociology paper too. So if you are curious to learn more about it, okay, or how do you understand the minority question? Examine the violence and discrimination against the religious minorities in India, right? So if you are curious to learn more about uh, the content of these questions, what these questions are all about and how to attempt these questions, okay? So feel free to join the session and first I'll explain the theory, the background, the insight and then we'll uh, like deal with the current possibilities as well. So that's there. You can go ahead with it. The details of the syllabus you can find online also on the internet. And other than that, you will be like also having an access to uh, like, you know, uh, other than the groups and the channels, you will be having an access to some uh, relevant material. Okay. Uh, the, the We can say handout uh, online on the portal. So be meticulous in downloading it and preparing it in a time bound manner. Okay. So I think majority of the concerns have been taken care of. A sociology book, there is no one book. There are a list of books, Anchan. Okay, so if you're starting with it, I told you we can start with NCRT and IGNU as a beginner because I remember you are a like college going girl, right? Maybe graduation first year or second year. So that's what can be suggested. Okay, so uh, thank you all of you and God bless you. Have a great day ahead. Let's meet once again um, with the new session. The new session starts on first and thank you all of you. Thank you and take care.